Jackson, together with Rob this morning. Haley, she is on a life control center, and we are on service end at Juma, a very wonderful nature park. We're still heading to the Haina Den as a promise of last night. We didn't make it because of the technical problem. So we're still heading on there to check whether the hyena is active or not. You'll never know because sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. Stay with us. We're still making our way there to the hyena. As I said, we are going to visit this hyena den. We are now here. You can see, I mean, hyena activity around. And this is the young male just coming on the left of our vehicle. <coughs> are very much inquisitive to the vehicle. They have come very close to the vehicle to inspectorate the vehicle around. Sometimes you tend to see them chewing the car tires, which is very and where do that? But really because they're still young, they don't know what they're doing exactly. They come so close, sniffing around. As you can see, I mean, they're trying to get the scent from the vehicle. They don't figure out exactly whether this is a food or the vehicle. They just come in. The reason why it's like that, <coughs> because while they're still young, they're exposed to the vehicle. They come, vehicle come now and then. And they grew up seeing vehicle, and the vehicle is not a part of, uh, I mean, is a part of a, of, of, of a habitant in the area. It's not something that is going to harm them. So really for sure they come so close to vehicle. They created a very social bond between vehicle and them, which they don't have problem at all. We will go forward and see from this, I mean, the termite itself, whether it's the youngster there or not, which it will be very much interesting because they play around, jumping around, more especially in this weather.
can see on the den it involves different edges of the puppies. Some of the puppies are very, very, very young. They might be between two to three months old, some are like between five to six months old. And there's all the cups where it gets up to a year. Really for sure, some of the hyena they are living, some of it are still around the Temat March here on a den site, lying down. <clears throat> Initially, what the hyena doing at night, they just go out, try to stay behind leopards or anything that hunts at night. Even proud of lions, if they do kill something, they can try to sneak around and push them away, more especially if it's a female. They don't have female, uh, they don't have male involvement. So they will push the female and they'll, I mean, gain the meat from them and they can eat being themselves. Sometimes if they kill something smaller like impala, you can see the female jaws and the neck is very lot more powerful. You can bring it back from the side to the dance side for the young start to feed. While they're still young, as you can see, they're just playing, biting, and do all of that. Those, those techniques, they're going to need them in future while they're older. If they try to defend themselves, they use those skills, biting on the leg, is how they're going to do it. And by doing that, they learn it from while they're still young, playing amongst each other. It gains or it develops more skills by doing that so in future they're going to use the same skills so as I said earlier on <coughs> I mean the jaws of hyena is a lot more stronger if he gets to bite a leopard or a lion through the angle it's going to cause a serious damage you know that lion it will be paralyzed it won't able to walk because the bones I mean the hyena can is simple crush the bones more special from the joints it will separate the jaws by the jaws, which is very more strong. So really for sure, there's reason sometimes if you find a leopard, if hyena come, once you get the meat away from her or him, he will run away because he knows if hyena get to bite him, it will be the end of the life. He won't be able to hunt because leopard is more solitary. So we give a, I mean, a hyena a chance to steal the meat away and he will be safe. Because if you want to try to fight, he knows that will be a big problem. Hyena will simple, I mean, crunch his leg away or he can bite him to the angle where he can't able to walk. So really for sure he'll give up the meat and go up in the tree as a security. Then we'll let the hyena to take a meat away from him 